When you watch a video, there's a lot you don't see. Today I want to talk to you about what it's really like to make videos. This is what it's like to start a YouTube channel. The hardest part about being creative is that you have ideas. Everywhere you look, everything you see, you see the vision of the thing you want to create. This experience that you want to share with the world. That masterpiece is in your head, but you don't practically know yet how to make the thing you have the idea for. But deep down, it's just inevitable. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty and make some stuff that's terrible. Hey, okay. Okay, I've been propagating, I've been propagating, I've been propagating. I can do this. So what do you say? Should I say it at the front of the video or the end? Um, I think when you're an artist, you want so badly for the thing that you're creating to elicit the experience that you're hoping that the person looking at it or enjoying it will have. And the thing about making things is that you're meant to put them out there. The secret sauce is in other people seeing and feeling it too. It's a highly vulnerable endeavor. Unrelated, trying to take a thumbnail is the cringiest thing, like possibly the worst thing that anyone's ever seen. Okay, here you go. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, so. So, let's begin. If you're ever gonna get that masterpiece that's in you out, you have to make and share some terrible videos, recipes, music, whatever it is. Ina Garten is one of the most famous and beloved cooks in America today. This is what I get to do for a living. I hit 30 and I thought, I wanna do what I wanna do. And that was it? That was it. Th two months later, I was behind the counter of a specialty food store, trying to figure it out. <laughs> Here's the thing I wish I could've told myself before I started. You gotta loosen up on perfectionism. You're gonna have to make things that don't match that thing in your head. For all those aprons back. Sorry, it's trash day here. Okay. 1% battery. Oh. All right, picking the log back up, it's already dark now. <laughs> Cooking's hard for me. I'm, you know, I never worked on- Cooking the is hard for you. It is so hard for me. That's why my recipes are really simple. Welcome, today's the day, we're doing it. Okay, so I might have gotten myself in over my head. Creativity's not linear, that's just the magic of it. On this platform, there are no rules. You can be cringy, terrible, have zero skill to match your idea, and no one cares. No interview, no questions, no one standing in your way telling you you can't. Well, except you. Here's our brute 20 gallon. <laughs> it fills pretty much up. Just throw them in there, close it up. Dang, dark. Look at all this. I turned that cupping thing to the Golden Retriever vibes. One of my favorite quotes about the creative process is by Pablo Picasso. That is the good artist copy and great artist steal. And it resonates with me because I think as a creative, you're deeply inspired, moved even by the creative work that you see all around you every day. And while all of it probably won't resonate with you, there are those things that do. The Barefoot so Contessa series is now 13 seasons strong. You too can cook like a pro. I love what I'm doing. I'm really happy doing it and I hope I can do it forever. Here's what no one tells you about starting a YouTube channel. Behind every masterpiece, is a regular cringy individual with an idea, just winging it. How do people hold money? What it leaves me feeling with now is freedom to create. Freedom to follow my ideas and just put them out there. Experiencing the human experience of just regular people. Learning from them, feeling inspired by them, and then turning it off and living differently because of them. That's what art is, at least to me. And that's what makes creatives keep creating. Van Neistat defines art as a preservation of the human spirit. Oh my gosh. 
art makes you feel something that that artist once felt. Thank you for seeing me through. Thank you for being here. 